All right, so one more exponential growth problem uh, related to differential equations here. So suppose a bacteria population grows at a rate proportional to the population. Uh, suppose we know there are 200 bacteria three days ago, 1,000 bacteria one day ago. We want to know how many bacteria there will be uh, tomorrow. Okay, so one day later. All right, so again, we know... What do we know? We know the population P of T can be described by A times E to the K T. Um, again, we can say this because the population grows at a rate proportional to the population. Okay, so I guess we have some information. Um, we don't really know a lot of things. We don't know the initial amount. Um, we don't really know the K, the growth rate. But what we do know is we know that three days before now, so I'm going to let t equal negative 3. That's going to represent three days prior to now. Okay. Well, let's see. Um, k, we still don't know. t, we can plug in negative 3. We know that the population three days ago, that was equal to 200. Um, likewise, we know the population one day before... So again, that's going to be a times e to the k times negative 1. We know that equals 1,000. We want to know... We want to know the value of the population one day later. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our two equations here. I'm going to take our two equations here, and we'll use these to solve for, for everything that we need. Okay, so we've got a times e to the, I guess, negative 3k, that's going to equal 200. a times e to the negative 1k, we know that equals 1,000. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to divide these two equations. So um, if a e to the negative 3k equals 200, well, if we divide a times e to the negative 3k by a times e to the negative k. Well, since the numerator is equal to 200 and the denominator would be equal to 1,000, we can just set up this nice little equation. And the point of doing this is, well, notice the a's are going to cancel out. So we'll be left with e to the negative 3k over e to the negative k. Well, we can always uh, rewrite that as 1 over, if we put the e to the negative 3k in the denominator, it will become e to the positive 3k. So that'll give us uh, e to the 2k. Let's see, 200 over 1,000, I guess that's going to reduce to just 1 fifth. And we could multiply e to the 2k, and then multiply the 5 over. And to solve this, we can take the natural logarithm of both sides. Well, let's see, the natural logarithm b to the 2k, that's just going to leave us with 2k. So it says the natural logarithm of 5 over 2, that's going to equal k, our growth rate. So let's see, again, we know that the population at time t, that's a times e to the k, but again, we've got k now, that's the natural logarithm of 5 over 2 times t. I'm going to simplify this a little bit. Um, we could write this as e to the natural logarithm of 5 times 1 half. Right? That's going to give us our, um, you know, if we multiply the exponents, uh, the natural logarithm of 5 and 1 half, that's going to give us our natural logarithm of 5 over 2. Let's not forget about our t as well. Well, e to the natural logarithm of 5, that's just 5. We still have to the 1 half power times t. So really, we could even simplify this again. Um, we would really have 5 to the 1 half, that's the square root of 5, times t. So that's kind of a slightly more simplified uh, equation to describe the population. All right, well, what I'm going to do now is we need to figure out the initial value, a. So I can use either one of the... Uh, I can use either one of these original equations. So again, we said the population at time, uh, I guess let's use negative 1. 
we said, okay, so we can describe that by a times the square root of 5 times t. We've now deduced that. But again, the population uh, one day prior, that was equal to 1,000. I should be careful, I didn't replace my t here. So, so the population when t equals negative 1, that looks a little bit better. We've now got uh, this equation. Well, this is just a over the square root of 5. That equals 1,000. Well, if we multiply both sides, we'll just get the initial amount is the square root of 5 times 1,000. So obviously, this isn't going to be a nice whole number. And again, this is just a model. Uh, so that's OK. So it says the population at time t can be described by a, which is the square root of 5 times 1,000. So that's our a value. And then uh, we've got the square root of 5 times t. So now we want to know the population again simply one day later. That's initially what we wanted to figure out, the population after 1t. So now we've done all the hard work. All we have to do is plug in t equals 1. So we've got the square root of 5 times 1,000 times the square root of 5 to the first power. Well, the square root of 5 times the square root of 5, that's just going to give us 5 times 1,000. So it says we can expect to have about 5,000 bacteria uh, uh, present one day later.